Hi friends, welcome to the next video. You may ask yourself, why am I here in front of a beautiful temple in Bali? Well, this temple and many others like it is where a lot of gamelan concerts go on. Gamelan drumming festivals here. Sometimes I come here, there's really big festivals, with lots of music and you know, it's, a, it's an amazing, a beautiful place. As you see, we have the gods here. Now, many people, many people don't understand these, uh, these statues. Actually, these are statues that protect you from bad demons, okay? Apparently, they look scary like that to scare away the bad demons. So, it's a, you know, reverse uh, psychology kind of thing here. But yeah, they, this is very, very much a part of uh, Balinese culture, these, these gods, you know, they each have a name and I don't know what their, what their names are, but you know, people put the tributes to them, that's a, it's a tribute. And this is a, a beautiful temple here, I'm just going to show you the inside of the temple. You come, you come to pray, and you know, you come to pray in there, you have to wear the correct clothing. You can't walk in with the street clothes. You have to wear, you know, certain clothing. So the reason I'm here is because I want to talk about teaching styles, not teaching styles like different styles of music, but the styles that people use to teach. Okay. So there's several things going on. Like in, in Bali here, these cats are very dedicated. They have like groups where they learn, uh, you know, the music. They have like the teachers, like senior teachers and stuff like that, that show the people their parts and stuff like that. It, it's very, very interesting and a very cute communal kind of a way to learn, you know, very, very nice. And there's some really great percussionists here. You know, I was quite shocked. Um, they do what they do very, very well. And it's very interesting. So let's talk about the different styles of teaching, okay? Now, there's what I call the drip drop style, <laughs> which is somebody, you know, takes a student and they give them little pieces of information and they take that piece of information and twist it around in 10 different ways and 10 different variations and they make you do it you know every week 10 bpms faster and uh you know basically these are usually exercises that are completely useless in music and uh these drip drop guys do that because they are not great players themselves and their knowledge is limited and uh so they have to juice every piece of material as much as they can and they of course they're you know juicing students for all the money they can this way which is really you know a, a disgusting thing to me but uh <laughs> you know uh these, these people are are doing it and they do it a lot so if you're a, a victim of drip drop uh, you know learning think about what you're doing because uh that's not a very effective way. The next thing uh, I want to talk about is the dilettante system. Okay, the dilettante system is you go on YouTube and you go, you know, here and there and you, and you take little snippets of stuff and you work on it and, you know, you become maybe okay at some things and then all the other things suffer, of course, and you never really hang on motorcycle oh boy a Harley here that's strange <laughs> you never really like get deep deep into a subject you just kind of skim over it you know and you can sort of do it okay enough to like Im impress your friends maybe <laughs> or work with it a little bit in a band situation but you never really cover it to its full degree you know there's people that say that you uh, uh, for example 
you haven't really played a song until you've played it over a hundred times. Then you start to play the song, you know, until, until you have it so ingrained in your system, you haven't played it until you've played it over a hundred times. So uh, that's the same kind of thing with, with you know, the drumming minutia that we, we, we might encounter. But the dilettante thing, it just doesn't, doesn't let you go that far, you know. It's just, you just skim this thing and then you see another piece of candy and you go for that and, you know, and you, you're happy with this or that and you buy a new cymbal and you, you know, you play it and, and you know, that's, that's not a great system either. Maybe if you're a weekend uh, player or something like that and you really, you like drums but you, it's not your full-on passion, you know, and then, okay, as long as you're doing that yourself and nobody's taking your money to do that to you, then that's, that's your prerogative, you know. So then the next system, which is my favorite system, is the apprenticeship system, the apprenticeship model of, of learning. Back in the, in the, uh, in my day, <laughs> I guess how old I'm, as if I'm so old, but back in the day, you know, we learned, we had the apprenticeship system where you take it under someone's wing and you went to their house and you hung out and you, you know, had coffee and you, you know, went to their gigs and they taught you stuff and uh, you become like an apprentice of that player. You help them with their drums, you know, you, you go to rehearsals with them, you see what it's like to be at rehearsals, to, to read charts, you know, I went to a lot of big band rehearsals as a kid. And, I would follow my teacher to these, these rehearsals and sit there behind the drums with him and watch the charts go by and all that stuff. I mean, that, the thing about this system is that it's invaluable. There's no monetary value that can come close to what that person is giving you through this system, okay? Because it's, they're giving you their life's blood, their life's learning everything they know about music and drumming they're giving it to you this way through through life through experience and through modeling yourself after that person right a, a, an apprenticeship i mean everybody knows what that means but in drumming yeah, i guess we got got to get specific of what the details are about that so yeah the apprenticeship model is the most effective way to learn in my humble opinion, right? <laughs> I mean, that has shaped drummers throughout history, through the greatest drummers in the history of drumming. Okay, so the next model is an extreme version of an apprenticeship model, is which is what we have in India, perhaps what we have in uh, you know some parts of Africa. I don't know because I've never been there. It's on my bucket list to go to Africa, but from what guys tell me over there, it's kind of like a, like this is that in India, for example, you go and you go live with your teacher. You become a part of the family. <laughs> you live in, the, in his house and you see everything that goes on and he teaches you all day long, drumming, 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 uh, music, you know, and you become a part of his life, basically. There's cats that have uh, big houses and you go, you know, you become a part of the community. It's also can, can, it can be considered to be communal learning. You know, so there's not only you, there's there's maybe other students, 10 other students, 15, I don't know, some guys have a whole slew of students, up to 90 students from what I hear sometimes. So it's very, very interesting. And it's also one of, the, one of those things that, you know, like for example, in, in tabla and Indian music is so complex rhythmically that I'm not sure that if there's any other way to effectively immerse yourself in that unless you have so much discipline on your own you're that you're superhuman you know uh, but uh, but traditionally I guess that's how it's done there's just such a massive amount of information in that music that you have to let it seep into your blood you know it's not it's not possible to like take a book and like learn it you know <laughs> So it's, it's the extreme version, let's say, of the apprenticeship model, where you're actually living with your teacher. <laughs> it's quite interesting. I don't know if I could do it, you know, I'm a, I need my own privacy. And <laughs> anyway, 
there's lots of little traditions in, in India that are very interesting. Like for example, they have the, the practice candle. They'll take a candle, a special candle that you buy and you light it and you practice a practice until the candle is burnt out until the, until the end. That's a whole practice session. So that's how they time their practice session for these candles. Very interesting. So to recap now, I am in favor of the apprenticeship model because drumming, like I said, it's just so vast, you know. You, if you want to be into drumming, if you just take one subject, it's such a vast thing to try to learn. If you diddle daddle around and, and uh, uh, you know, take little pieces here and there, it's going to take decades for you to learn something, right? I follow the apprenticeship model. My lesson site, for example, is based on the apprenticeship model. You pay a membership, but you interact with me all the time. It's not like you just left alone and go and watch the videos and you know. I, I give you lesson plans. I give you uh, assignments. People send me their, their videos, you know, with the assignments that are done. I help them make practice uh, systems, long-term and short-term. It's an apprenticeship model. You know, it's just the modern version of it with technology. And the, the good part about this is I, I can reach cats no matter where they are in the world. They can reach me at, at any time they, they need. And I can analyze, you know, what they're doing on video uh, almost better than if I was there in person because of, I, I can watch it again and again. I can see like, like the most extreme version of their performance that they've practiced I can watch it over and over and and I can take it apart and know exactly what what they've improved on what they need to keep working on so as if you were sitting there in a in a private lesson basically except in a private lesson there's always the pressure of performance right <laughs> you go to you know how it is you go to your teacher's studio or whatever and you you've been practicing and then you go to play the what you've been assigned and suddenly you're like oh I can't, I'm nervous and stuff so, so this kind of takes the pressure off of that and the student can can record themselves as many times as they need and then send me the video they're they're happy with you know but there's still even if they're happy with a version there's still obviously things that I see that they need to work on so it's a very very effective way to be to learn Right. I feel very bad for cats that are caught in the drip drop system because, you know, for me, that happened to me when I was a kid too. I was, a, I was in Argentina at the time and there were no drum teachers, you know, in my city. At that time, there was nothing, you know, and I had to like learn whatever I could from these kooky guys that had a drum set. And they thought they were drummers, you know. <laughs> it was a mess, you know. And then I would try to get into Afro-Cuban music, and it's the same thing with Afro-Cuban, you know. There, there's so much, so much bad information out there that, you know, you learn something is totally wrong, you get ridiculed by, by the native players, you know, and, and you have to start all over again, and it's a giant mess. So that really pisses me off when, when that when that happens and and people show the you know the wrong things because I've, I've been there it's happened to me and it made me waste so much time and money okay so um, what I suggest what well, the reason I'm making this video is because I want you to be aware of these systems to see if you're not uh, in the most effective relationship you know with someone if you're getting drip dropped or if you're, you know, dilettanting around, <laughs> you don't want to commit yourself to like studying with somebody for real, you know, that's not, you know, so great. I would say even if you study like for a year intensely with someone, that's going to last you a long time, a lot longer than if you just dilly dally around, you know, if you, if you do that, then 
there's the risk of creating tons of bad habits and doing things wrong and you know injuring yourself possibly if we're talking about hand technique and stuff like that so i just want to make you aware of these things so that you can make the right choices so what happened to me doesn't happen to you and i've seen this happen to many many guys especially in in regions where there's you know smaller cities and there's no access to great players or players at all you get these uh, uh you know situations where <laughs> you're learning things all wrong from someone who has no morals and is teaching you whatever they know you know that's another issue guys that teach you what they know not what you need to know you know that's a, that's a very big issue anyway it's very important to these things because <laughs> let's face it I don't know if you're aware of this if you're a younger cat but your life on this planet is limited you don't have time there's no time you don't have time to learn everything about drumming even if you're 15 years old you think you have time you don't have time drumming is too vast it takes the human body a while to acquire information that you're working on now you might be great at one thing rock or fusion or whatever but when you tackle jazz it's another story you tackle you know whatever brazilian afro-cuban music from turkey music from persia music from greece you know that's a whole other bag and it's going to take a while for you to learn it it's not instant to turn on my computer and I and I know what's going on you know that that era of being able to download information into your body is not here yet <laughs> so you don't really have time and every time all the time that is wasted on bad information is a pity you know real pity and it uh, it uh, it's something that affects me deeply when I when I see guys coming up coming to me and saying you know oh man uh, you know this happened to me and you know this guy showed me this thing and then I went to play and everybody laughed at me or it was so wrong that I got fired and uh, or I injured myself because of this way this guy taught me this bad technique and you know that that to me is a real real bummer so I get sad you know when I hear those stories I don't ever want people to, to have to go through that maybe we need some of these uh, Some of these demons to scare away the the bad things that will might happen to you you know the the roads that could lead you into bad situations those vibes need to be scared away <laughs> these demons might might help you and look at the beauty of this place it's so so cool that's why i love bali this architecture this this tradition you know this uh, it's so beautiful <laughs> it's so special you know I don't know what other parts of the world you can find stuff like this in but there's also a, a very big uh, you know let's say juju here for lack of a better word with with the gods and everything and and I feel that that relates to drumming very very well because in drumming there's a big juju and I might talk about that someday but it's a very sensitive topic and I have to you know choose the words wisely because uh, you know a lot of people don't think I should talk about that or that that should be like common knowledge and there's many cultures where drumming is so deep that it's part of a, a, a religion and stuff like that so anyway there's the temple so beautiful I send you many greetings from Bali and here's my bike <laughs> I love this thing I'm very competitive on my bike I gotta be careful you know I'm, I'm very competitive in general <laughs> I guess that's why I play you know the way I do I, I always try to be the best and 
I guess more competitive with myself than anything. But on the on the bike, it spills it spills over into you know when I, somebody passes me, I get pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friends, thanks for watching this, and see you in the next one. Remember, the lesson site is waiting for you. Okay, the elite program is waiting for you. I'm doing hand consultations. And we're doing remote recording from here in Bali. If you need drumming on your music, let me know. Okay, peace out. Do you love drumming? Whether you are an amateur or a pro, what defines your drumming will be what you put into it. The things that you're exposed to, the things in your culture and the people you run across. If you love drumming, check out my lesson site, the most innovative curriculum in the world. I have taught thousands and thousands of drummers across the world in some of the most highly regarded drumming cultures. Check out my lesson site and see what it's all about. From big band to rock to Afro-Cuban, Brazilian, one of the most complete lesson libraries on the planet. See you there.